Hey guys, my name's Jacob. I'm Sam. And we're gonna run you through some home workout training tips. Many of you will be familiar with our home workout training template that we released earlier this week uh, in response to a lot of people being in isolation or quarantined due to COVID-19. Very serious stuff and we just thought we'd put out a video that sort of explains the rationale that underpins the, the program itself as well as give you just a broader array of exercises uh, that you can do, some tips on how to perform them, and hopefully just give you some tools to be able to build your own home workout routines, because obviously uh, your equipment, your situation is gonna be different, uh, so we can't account for that with a very general template. So, firstly, we need to discuss your level of advancement. So for those of you who are quite advanced, uh, obviously, home workouts are just not going to cut the mustard anywhere near as much as what uh, they will for people who have a lower level of advancement, so you beginners. So beginners, you should be okay with the home workout. You can make them pretty challenging just by doing the exercises with a little bit of resistance, some tempos, pauses, things like that. However, as we get more and more advanced, uh, the need to closely mimic our regular training routine increases. So I really strongly advise those of you who are in that category, so you're advanced and you're nearing uh, a competition potentially, uh, do your best to try to mimic your current training in whatever way that means. If your goals are quite serious too and you are advanced, someone who's putting a lot of time, energy and effort into your training, it's probably a good idea to maybe invest in some equipment, some basic barbells, dumbbells, uh, because you will get a lot more out of that than just resistance bands. And the beginners probably get uh, plenty out of just resistance bands and body weight exercises. So with that out of the way, we then need to talk about uh, what type of equipment you have available. So we've got a bunch of equipment here. Sam's gonna grab it now. Uh, obviously we have a gym, so That's if we are quarantined, I'm going to quarantine myself in the gym. So I'm Sorry. not going to be too heavily affected, fortunately. But from the gym, yeah, these just are from the gym. A resistance band, a single kettlebell, a set of a set of dumbbells, and some bands and uh, sliders that we got uh, from our local sporting goods store from Kmart actually. So Kmart we got actually, a there you go. power tube. That has handles to come in handy. House. Some fitness sliders and some micro stretch bands. So the equipment that we bought, so these three things, cost around thirty dollars. You can pick up a set of dumbbells from Kmart, Big W, or uh, you know one of those big stores for maybe fifteen, twenty dollars. A resistance band online for you know a handful of dollars and a kettlebell, ten to twenty dollars. So you can really pick up a whole array of equipment for less than $100, which is pretty convenient if mm -hmm. you're gonna be working from home. A um, couple weeks gym membership right there. And just on that, uh, we're gonna talk about, firstly, before we get into the exercises that you guys can perform, the objectives that you will have when training at home. So, for those of you who have physique-related goals or looking to improve your body composition, your primary objective when you're training at home should be just to retain muscle. Unless you're a beginner and you haven't even exercised before, you're not going to be building muscle. You want to retain your current muscle mass, which means we need to train with higher volumes, train each body part more frequently. So instead of training a muscle group maybe twice a week, we might want to train it uh, every second day, for example. And you also want to try to get a stimulus, so instead of using the load to help us get close to failure, we're gonna need fatigue to help us get close to failure. So we're gonna to need to train uh, with shorter rest periods, we're gonna to need to take all of our sets, it doesn't matter how many reps you perform, but you wanna get very close to failure so that there is a stimulus, uh, and we need to basically make things as fatiguing as possible. So where, where we can, add resistance through dumbbells, kettlebells, bands, uh, you know, whatever, Tempos, yeah, nice. whether you have nice suitcases, metrics. you fill up some grocery bags with uh, various items to, you know, give kids. it some weight, you carry your kids and do lunges, you do partner training, all these sorts of things. So resistance is obviously gonna be a great way to put some additional resistance on your body as you move and help you get closer to failure because the fatigue of the resistance uh, as you perform more and more reps is going to provide a pretty potent stimulus. So, Resistance is number one. The second way that we can make training difficult when we have less resistance is by adding tempos. So anywhere from like three to 10 second uh, eccentrics. So really slowing down the lowering phase of a repetition. You can do pauses at various parts of the movement. 
Uh, you can add in like uh, one and a quarter reps, like pulses and all these sorts of things. Uh, but generally just trying to squeeze the most out of your reps is gonna be a really good idea. In the case that you don't have resistance, this is gonna become even more important. Uh, and then the third way that we can make training a, a little bit harder, given that we don't have as much resistance available, is through decreasing our rest periods. So instead of having three to five minutes rest, as Sam would normally have when he's powerlifting or training for bodybuilding, he's gonna take 30 to 45 second rests uh, so that his body doesn't have enough time to recover um, and get rid of all that metabolic uh, byproduct that builds up the lactic acid that builds up in the muscle so that he's gonna be more fatigued as the set goes on. And as he's fatigued, he's gonna get closer to failure and that's where we get the repetitions that are gonna give us that stimulus to retain our muscle anyway. Uh, now when it comes to strength training, it's a little bit more tricky. So. You wanna obviously closely mimic the exercises that you are training to get stronger at. Uh, and that can be difficult. So this is where pro probably getting some equipment is gonna be vital, depending on how serious you are. Uh, but if you can get some equipment, great. If not, you're just gonna to have to work around it and try to you train for that body composition, muscle retention uh, type workout as opposed to the strength retention uh, type of training, which would involve uh, if you can't have as much resistance on the bar, uh, you're obviously not going to be producing as much force through uh, the decrease uh, in velocity when you're moving due to the heavier loads. Uh, so you're gonna have to move lighter weights explosively so that you can uh, neutralize the amount of force or equate the force that you would otherwise produce uh, through having heavy weights, moving them at slow velocities. So that's that. Uh, and use this opportunity, guys, to experiment. Uh, I think uh, something that hasn't been uh, spoken about too much is being able to find the silver lining in situations like this. Um, it's a really good opportunity if you are injured, carrying some niggles to rehab, work around them and give the body a bit of a rest. Um, and yeah, just focus on the quality of your movement, taking some additional time to play around with things, improve your mind-muscle connection, um, and just have some fun with your training. You know, enjoy, enjoy it. The fact that we get to sort of go rogue for a little bit, I think is uh, a good opportunity to have some fun. And the last thing is, uh, something is better than nothing. So just making, again, as Jacob said, the most of a bad situation if you are stuck at home or your gym is closed, um, you know, just do something, try and keep active, try and retain as much muscle and fitness as you do have. Um, it's gonna help keep you fit and healthy. So when gyms reopen or you're out of isolation or you can get back at it, uh, that you can. Let's do it.